Hey guys, what is up? It's Jacqueline from Jamming Win 95 and today we will be taking a look at the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G in white. And we will be doing a very, very short unboxing and a first look at the phone. Um, so first of all, here's a box. I picked this up for 50 bucks at Radio Shack, the cheapest deal I can get anywhere. Um, here you just have like a phone, Sprint, Samsung. Um, it has a Super AMOLED Plus screen which by the way looks awesome. You have some branding here and you have more branding. On the back you have some specifications on um, what it can do and um, Sprint is now really big or this phone is really big on focusing on driving which is cool. And then here you have some barcodes. So um, when you open the box, um, I already took everything out but I guess if you want to see it, um, here the phone is going to be here. You have some manuals here. And then the only thing it comes with is the Samsung wall adapter and this very short USB cable. So not much, many goodies. Um, so here is the phone itself. It's a beautiful phone. Um, I got this over the S3 because I didn't think the S3 is a solid upgrade. So um, we're first going to start off with just the basic basics. Let's do hardware buttons and then we will work our way into the phone and talk about the software. So just by looking at it right here, it has a 4.52 inch Super AMOLED Plus screen. It's very, very nice. Um, so it is a big phone, but it's okay. It still fits in my pocket. Um, okay, so that's a good screen. Um, on the side here, you have volume rockers and you have a little lanyard slit right there. On the bottom here, you have a micro USB port to connect to the wall to power it up or to transfer USB things and such. Um, over here you have the power button um, which is I think Samsung's signature. They always want it on the side instead of the top. Maybe Apple might sue them again. I don't know. <laughs> um, right here on the back you have an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and very good camera by the way. And on the front you have a 2 megapixel camera which is pretty good for a smartphone because a competing smartphone has a 1.3 megapixel camera, I believe. Um, if we take off the battery door, here we have an 1800 milliamp battery. It's actually a really big battery. Like on camera, you can't really tell, but it is a really big battery. And here you have a micro SD card slot that can hold up to 32 gigs. Um, this phone comes pre-installed with, um, there's only one option, um, 16 gigabytes of ROM. Um, this is a very light phone. Um, when you first hold it, it does feel a bit cheap. Um, it's only 4.6 ounces. Everything is basically made out of plastic on this. Let's take a look at the phone. So here you're presented, this is 2.3.6 gingerbread masked with 4.0 TouchWiz. And a lot of people are complaining about not getting the software update. Don't worry, guys. I talked to a couple representatives, and it's coming this month. Um, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 is coming this month for the Epic. Don't fret, guys. Do not fret. Okay, so here is the phone. Um, I really like the software, actually. Um, there are a lot of pre-installed apps, actually. And it was very overwhelming. And I will show you some of them. So since this is from Sprint, you are going to get those... Uh, sprint apps here I have a folder called random because I don't use any of these and you cannot delete them I forgot to talk about the bottom on the bottom you have four capacitive buttons you have menu home back and search I really don't see myself using the search option that much um, you just hold it and it goes to a Google search I usually just use voice search and just talk to it battery life in my opinion is really good or pretty good and it's lasted me a full day full day like 12 hours. I wake up pretty early. Maybe 13, 14 hours. But it's been pretty good for me. Let's take a look at the camera because that is a main feature of this. So here we're going to get the box in the background. But you can use the volume uh, rockers as zoom, which I think is pretty cool. So you can do that. Um, and then you can click and it will focus, so let's just do the logo. And that was, this is a really bad angle, but um, here you go. I don't know if you can tell, but this is like super clear on the screen. Um, next, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things. I really like the phone layout. The buttons are very big. Um, and then you have logs, contacts. 
Um, so something else I'm going to show you is um, messaging. These are text messages. And it's pretty cool. I'm going to put this a bit farther away from you. I'm just covering the whole screen. But um, what you can do is you can slide it to the right and it will call. Or you slide it to the left and it will message. Which I think that's a pretty cool function. Um... Um, right here you have a pull down menu of your notifications, you have like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, vibration, 4G. I guess I will show you the email app. The email app is not that all spectacular. You have all your emails that you want to upload, you can view them separately. Typical Android. Um, all inboxes. Here, I'll show you this email. This is like a Red Robin email. You can turn it. You can view other emails, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the internet tube. And what's cool about this is if I put two fingers on, I can just go like this and zoom in and out. Um, there are a lot of cool things like that. Um, for example, if I flipped it over, um, it will go in silent mode and no calls or texts will be shown. Awkward. Alright, so that person just hung up on me, by the way. Um, I'll first show you the voice talk, so I'll be like... Um, Hello, I am making a YouTube video. And it will get that right. Overall, I would say it's a pretty good upgrade. Um, if you're thinking about getting it, it's a good phone. Um, I will have a full review of this very soon. Not actually, not very soon. Scratch that. Because I will be gone for a month. And I guess I will have more experience, but then this phone would be outdated. But we will see what goes on, and then I might do something cool. So thanks so much for watching and see you guys next time.